Hello and welcome. Next I am planning to show you that how we can disassemble this crankshaft, this wheel or puller. That how we can take this metallic feel away. And this is in interesting part because this bolt is extremely thick. And I, I think that this is uh, one of the most difficult bolts to open in this motor because this is very critical part and now I, I like to show that how I open that bolt there are many ways but but normal situation is that when when we I have take this motor away and then I like to open that bolt in here I need first this uh, socket what size is 19 millimeter and then I insert that socket I have this longer bar because there is I need power and when I insert that in here and I start to open I notice that 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 this 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 feel is moving and then when I look in this this inside area in here there is no any places that I can keep like in support and then I have to be also carefully that I don't damage any any way this wheel because this this wheel must run very smoothly and it must be in balance okay and wh what I do next I have to invent in something I remember that if this motor is in in place in car and we have this uh, this uh, automatic transmission then we have chance to take this start motor out and insert some some place to this start motor wheel and, and next we go to look that area what we can do okay and there is this start motor place that when we have take that start motor out there is this fly fleel where are those holes that we can insert our screwdriver or something else plate in there and now when I rotate this crankshaft wheel this this part moves moves in there as you you see okay and then when I install this uh, tool in there in this way and I I try to open that bolt. I I check that what happens. Now, now this I have to rotate in the, this location. I insert him back in here, and then I test that. Can I open? And I notice quite soon that this is quite difficult task because the issue is that that this crankshaft this bolt is so thick okay and then then there is situation that that what what we could do and I, I have tested in here that kind of tool and then this kind of tool and always this this tool has been sl slippery away and, and 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 next I think that I have to do some special joint in here that I can I can break and and we weld these parts in together that that this uh, that I can open this this bolt in this crankshaft pull and this feet. Okay, next we look in this little bit this, that area what we must do in there, what we are planning to do next. Okay, and I have situation that that I have to break in somehow this metallic wheel in here because when I start to open that that bolt in here this wheel moves and even that I, I can't take in my 
hands in here and I have tried to insert some things in, in there and, and then I invent that I could use this kind of metallic plate where are those holes and I thought that I I drill in my this uh, drill metallic drill couple of pickers holes in there that I can I can add just that kind of bolts in here and here this is second and then I can do in this position joint that I insert insert this plate in here because I noticed that in here there is very accurate bolt place in this position that, that I can insert there this this uh, bolt in this way and this was great idea and then I noticed that I insert here second bolt and then I need only plate what goes goes in this uh, in this way in here here and then in there and next I talk that I insert that bolt in here and then I insert this in here good and then I need to insert that that part in, in here and this looks good and then I use my this uh, 13 millimeter fence and I thicken that bolt and now I have I have made here oven break and I know that, that these parts, when we do these systems, we, we have to be careful that we don't, des we don't destroy these motor parts because they are so sensitive. And then I insert in here one bolt. I insert here one, one bolt in here. Okay. Okay. Now, now there is there is this joint. Very good. This joint is in there, and I I even little bit thickened that. And next next we go to test that how this bolt opens. Okay, and we go to look this crankshaft. Wheel. Okay, and here is this our wheel, and I take my tool, and then I test that how this my new brake works, and I, I take my hand in here, and then I take good grip in this this, this motor because this this motor can can move, and I take my hand in here, and then I. Right. Okay, and now it opens. Very cool. Okay, now I now I managed to open the bolt. Okay, and this is this is tricky part. And then I open the bolt, and this is good to remember that what kind of tools we have. This this is very unique. Toyota's bolt where are these two parts and this this parts look like this a 19 millimeter okay this is good and then we need to take this wheel away and there is for that that super it's good that you have some some soft hammer or a thing and you little bit hit in that side 
Hand that's that. And, and, and then, and now, it just opens. Okay. And here is this crankshaft wheel. And there is also that kind of important hole. And this, this, this marks that there is in, in there, there is that kind of thing in there. And next we look, look that thing that what kind of hole goes in there. And now we have take that away and a little bit rotate this other side that we can look that what kind of system we have here. Okay, and can, can we see anything? Where is this? Okay, and then, can I rotate this? Can we see there anything? Is there anything that we can see? Okay. Can we see any parts? Yes, there is something. Okay, there is this part. Now, and we take closer view. Okay, and now when we look in in this crankshaft, this axle, there is this this black black stopper in there, and and that black stopper fits to this this hole in here. Okay. And this was that information how to dis disassemble this crankshaft wheel. Okay, and thank you for watching and we continue in in next video.